Welcome back to this World of Warcraft Let's Play. You're Sambo, and joining us, as always, is Yogurt, our level 11 enhancement shammy. Say good day, Yogurt. How's it going? How's it going? How's it going to you guys watching from home as well? Welcome to this episode. By the way, just a quick disclaimer here. Yes, I know it should be a Seraphis Worgen Mage episode, but you know what? We haven't seen Yogurt for so, so long because, of course, we did all of those Pilgrim's Bounty episodes on a Seraphis that I thought we'd give Yogurt a bit of a double bang here and we'll be returning back to alternating between the two next week. So next week we'll be back to Seraphis and then it'll be a Seraphis Yogurt. Seraphis, Yogurt and so on, but hey, there's nothing wrong with a bit of double goblin action and of course, especially when we're here at the War Chief's Lookout, you might remember in the last episode, of course, we were out on the beachhead there, you can see the planes off in the distance and we were fighting the Alliance invasion. Now we've been left with just one quest here to speak with Thrall, which we shall do in just a moment, but before we do, just got a quick shout out here and this comes from Jmans53 who writes, hey, can you please give me a shout out? My main's name in World of Warcraft is Tulamian. That's no, sorry, it's Talumian. I pronounced that wrong, my apologies. Talumian and I have been thinking about rejoining. If I get a shout out, I definitely will rejoin. Well, there you go, Jman53, with your character Talumian, you now have to rejoin WoW because you indeed have got a shout out. In fact, let's see if Yogurt has anything to say about that. Love. What's up? I think she agrees. So there you go. You've got to come back and join us here in WoW. And by the way, I get a lot of questions from you guys saying, Hey Sambo, which server are you playing on? Well, look, it's linked on my main YouTube channel page. There's actually a link to Yogurt there, to her armory. And of course, that tells you the server. But just so you know, it's Kaz Garoth. That's where I am. And that's an oceanic server. Don't worry, though. It's still hosted in the good old US of A. So you're not going to have a bad ping if you join Kaz Garoth. And of course, if you add me as a friend and you see me online, be sure to say g'day. You know what? Speaking of saying g'day, we want to say g'day to somebody very special. And that, of course, is the one, the only only thrall the wall chief the war chief rather oh, oh, let's correct. see what he's got what to say he says once again you have helped us to overcome our mutual enemy the alliance now it is time for us to help you well this is going to be interesting here we go, got ourselves a whole bunch of reputation. The Bilgewater Cartel, which is of course the Goblin Rep, and we also got Orgrimmar, which is the main Horde Rep as well. Here we go, Borrow Bastia, head back down to the coast and tell Kalag that I'd like for you to borrow Bastia. Now, the keen observers amongst you guys out there might remember that we've borrowed her in the past. In fact, we borrowed her to get down here in the first place. The Panther knows the way to where your friends are being held captive. Go now. I will see you again before we make our move against the Trade Prince. Oh, now this is getting a bit interesting, isn't it? And of course, you guys might remember Trade Prince Gallywix, who of course is the evil nasty that's holding all of our mates captive. This is going to get very interesting indeed. Speak with Kilag Gorfang at the Tranquil Coast on the Lost Isles. Absolutely, we shall do that, Thrall. And let's give him another bow, because after all... He is, that's a hilarious bow, isn't it, that we get from the goblins there. He is the one, the only, the almighty thrall indeed. One of my most favourite characters in all of the lore of Warcraft. Absolutely love him to death. Alright, so we need to head down here. You can see our little arrow pointing towards the question mark on the map there. If we have a look at our actual map, you can see it's just up ahead of us. So hopefully we'll find the big panther here. And I'm guessing that she's going to give us a ride somewhere. Here we go, here is Kilag, and of course Bastia is Kilag's pet, Hunter's pet, there we go. And he says, throw ho, yogurt. Here to help kill some misguided dwarves and gnomes. Well, we were last episode, but this time, of course, we're here to borrow Bastia. And he's saying, of course you can borrow Bastia, that is, if she'll take you. And he winks. There we go, complete that quest. Bastia will make sure you get to where you need to go, goblin. Speak with Slinky Sharpshiv at Sky Falls on the Lost Isles, and that now is our... That is our quest. Run, Bastia. Get Yogurt to Sky Falls and Labor Mine. All right, let's have a look on the map. And you can see it's pretty much one of the only places left here on the entire continent of the Lost Isles as we run through the War Chief's Lookout. 
probably the, one of the few last times we'll see Thrall for a little bit. And you can see we're going to be making our way up here at the top there. You can see it's still greyed out because that's pretty much one of the only places that we haven't uncovered in the entire map. This is a bit of a lengthy journey I must say, so let's kill this map and have a good look around. Looks like we're going to be heading, actually, hang on, are we? No, I was going to say, are we heading into the lava, but we're not. We're going over these bridges here. I love the scenery. Look at that, the massive waterfalls off to the side. We've got a swing bridge here that we're crossing. You can see we're getting pretty close to the lava. I'm not too comfortable about that. Oh, and a big jump from Bastia there. How awesome was that? We've got meteors falling all around our ears. Wow, she takes some crazy routes there at the top of the waterfall there. You can see the meteors falling from the sky up in the top there in that crater is of course the main meteor you can see it there to the side of us and looks like we're going to be coming on in here we go the lost peak and sky falls we have just discovered our new zone and yep there we go we're almost there here it is a nice little outpost here that we've come across and that is slinky sharpship thank you very much bestia for the quickly, ride quickly all right, let's ride. Yogurt, nice kitty. Looked like we don't have much time here. You might have noticed that the volcano is blowing. Yeah, we kind of had noticed that, just a little bit. All right, here we go. The Gallywix labor mine. We barely escaped with our hides intact. The trade prince has a whole bunch of us enslaved, performing manual labor inside the cavern. Greeley helped the seven of us get out, but she was recaptured in the process. Good old Greeley. You can always count on her. Okay, so, Yogurt, you're the only one crazy enough to walk into an exploding volcano. That's right, we are crazy. The assistant will be able to help you free the others. Hurry, this place is about to blow for good. Speak with assistant Greeley inside the Gallywix labor mine on the Lost Isles is our objective here. And you can see we get to choose from a couple of rewards. One of them is mail, which of course is no good to us as a chamois, but another one here is a dagger. And yeah, one of them looks, oh, actually both of ours could be replaced by daggers. That's not too bad. Let's Careful accept that quest. There. Okay, we're going to move away from the exploding volcano and try to hook up with the orcs for the final assault on the Trade Prince. Hope to see you on the other side, I hope. So you can see all of this talk, folks, is talking about our final assault. So it sounds like we're kind of on the final furlong here. And I'd say that we're going to be questing around here and up in here will probably be where Gallywix is, if I remember rightly. So yeah, it's getting close to the epic end. Now let's have a look. We've got ourselves a mage trainer up here. And I'd imagine that hopefully around here, what do we got? Warlock. Do we have a shum? Yeah, there he is. Look at that. Max Avalanche. Of course, he's from the original starting position on the islands where we very first rolled our character of Yogurt. And he's stuck with us the whole way. Glad to see that he has survived. Let's what? see if he's got any training for us. I don't think so, no. And look at this, one, two, three. We are basically one and a half bars away from level 12. So this is gonna get very exciting because you can see we're gonna learn actually three new spells, three new skills once we actually turn 12. One of them is Purge, which is a very important chamois spell, of course, dispelling a magic effect from an enemy. And that's a bit different. It's not from a friendly, it's actually from an enemy. And it's quite important, that one. And the reason for that is, is because you can see there that it says to use it against foes that have a protective barrier or a heal over time effect that could hinder our own assault. So that's great for basically debuffing enemies. Really cool. A new totem. That's going to be exciting. This one here is the Flame Tongue Totem, and that summons a totem that increases our spell power. And of course, that's not only good for our spells that we cast defensively, but we really need that up when we go resto, when we're a healer. So that we're going to be definitely using that later. Later on. And of course, Ancestral Spirit, speaking of healing, that there is actually a res. You can see there brings a friendly player back to life. Unfortunately, can't be cast while in combat, but never mind, we will actually get a battle res later on. So, all right, on as soon as we way. hit 12, we are definitely going to go back and speak to him wherever we end up. Meantime, of course, let's have a look at this vending machine here and see if we've got any junk to sell off pretty sure i cleaned our bags out at the end of the last episode yeah i did and i'm pretty sure also that we don't have any of our skills that can be trained yet uh in terms of you know actually leveled up let's have a look at our mining and our skinning and you can see it requires mining 50 for the next skill there we're currently 45 out of 75 and so five more and we'll be able to actually train up skinning 
Let's have a look. 28 out of 75. Oh dear. All right, so we need to be 50 to get the next level up. But you know what? We've obviously been a little bit slack on the old skinning front. So let's make sure that we do that whenever we kill anything that can be skinned. Here we go, the Gallywicks Labor Mine. I'm guessing that this is where we have to head. Let's have a look on the old mini-map. All right, it says here, speak with Assistant Greeley inside. Right, so it is inside the mine. And you can see we've got some little dots there, copper veins. I imagine once we go inside this mine, we're actually going to be able to, yeah, there we go. We're going to have lots of actual mining nodes that we can use, and that's great. Now, I can't find... Yikes! Oh, now look at this. I've not got my shields up. I've not got flame tongue weapon on either of my weapons. And I don't have any totems up. Totally caught us with our pants down there. That's alright. Let's see if we can find... Where is she? Gallywick's labor. I'm looking for... It's bizarre. So I come out here and can't find her. Alright, so I'm guessing I have to go in and then back around. Assistant Greeley. Yeah, no, I'm definitely at the right place. And as we go in here, you'll see the minimap change, but it says that she's right there. Okay, I don't understand this. What we're going to do is we're going to go in a little bit and we'll fight. Oh, maybe it's... Maybe it's through there? I honestly don't know. What am I doing? I want to drop our totems here. And of course get our shields back up. And I got stunned there as well, by the way. Oh, and there we are, level 12. Look at that. Congratulations. Woohoo! Well done, Yogurt. You are now level 12. There's all our new abilities that are popping up. Let's give ourselves a cheer. Well done. And a bit of a round of applause. There we go. You know what I think? I think seeing as we're so close to the entrance, we need to go back out there and level up. But let's just check first. Oh, okay. So I'm guessing that it's down through there. All right. So she's probably definitely going to be down in the next level. Yeah. All right. That's why it's getting confused. So she's underneath us. And will you look at that? How awesome are the underground areas in this game? It's just, there's so much detail. Absolutely amazing. And it looks like that's just a big hole in the ground. Let's just double check that in a second. We've got one shield charge left, and there we are. Having our way with him very, very quickly. I love how powerful we've become. And yeah, look at that. We actually drop down into the water if we go down there. So we do need to go down that ramp, and then, of course, we will meet up with Assistant Greeley. First things first, though, let's get out the front again. Go up the top here, and seeing as we've already hit 12, gosh, that came around quick, didn't it? Let's go and train of those skills that we were talking about. We might as well. Seeing as we're here, teach me the ways of the spirits. Let's get ourselves a new totem there. Flame Tongue Totem. And hopefully that will appear somewhere here. Let's have a look. Yeah, there it is. So it's you can see it's basically a fire-based. You basically end up with about three or four of these different types of totems, and within those types are three, four, or five different totems again. And you basically can only choose one at a time. So for example, if I pop this one out here, there we go, the searing totem, and then I switch over to our new flame tongue one, you'll see that it effectively replaces one. So you can only have one of each type up at a time. So at the moment, we have to make that choice. Do we have one that increases our spell power? Now, we do cast a lot of spells, so that could be handy. Or do we have one that actually shoots out uh, fire damage? So let's swap over for a while. Let's try the one here that's the new one, the Flame Tongue, and see how that goes. All right, Purge. <coughs> Excuse me, Purge and Ancestral Spirit. Careful let's find them. There. In our spell book, here you go, you can see all of the ones down here that are flashing mean that we've got new ones, and there you go, we've got Purge, so let's drop that in here, and once again, reminding you guys that that basically debuffs enemies, that's very cool, and there's our Flame Tongue Totem, that's the new one, and down here in Resto, we should have Ancestral Spirit, I always put my reses over here, out of the way, and that of course is great in dungeon runs, or PvP if you're out of combat. So now we actually have a res for resing other players. So that's really handy. We're really coming into our own now as a shaman. Love it, love it, love it. All right, so let's make our way through here and down this bridge and see if we can make our way to Assistant Greeley, which is, of course, where we need to be. Let's crank up our spell power. There we go. Put up our shields. And now that I've got the spell power happening, I might as well actually use spells. And there we are. 
Wow, this is this is huge, isn't it? Look at that. We've actually got another player over there, a goblin priest. So we're not alone down here. But this is just huge. These caverns here are massive. I just can't believe it. Because don't forget, all behind us, or rather in front of us, basically directly in front of us, was that cavern we were looking down on earlier. Let's have a look through here. Yep, all through there. And we've got it all over this way. And it goes on for miles down there as well. Just outstanding, isn't it? Absolutely love. Love the underground areas in... Wow, they do such an amazing job. It's such a huge world. Boy, that lightning parry takes... Uh, rather, lightning parry. Lightning bolt takes a very long time to cast. Now, don't forget, you can right-click on these icons underneath your portrait if you want to clear away your totems because, of course, they will aggro enemies once you've gone. Look at that. Looks awesome, doesn't it? Love the water in this game, especially the new water. Big bubbles there. All right, let's find our way to Assistant Greeley. And you can see we've got more copper nodes as well. Dropping down our totems. Now let's cast Purge on him, just in case he did have any beneficial buffs on him. They have now been stripped off. Alright, so no problem taking these guys down. Good stuff. There is the mining node. Let's go grab that. Clear away our totems. Refresh our shields. There we go. Alright, looks like we've got to take this guy down as well. Yep, he's seen us alright. There we go, short, sharp work of him. He's all gone. Now, where is Greeley? There she is. Hey, how's it going? Long time no see. There we go, choose our reward. Let's actually choose that. Thank you very much. Now, before we go any further, let's actually check that out and see if we can replace any of our current weapons with that. If I hold down shift, of course, we'll get the item tooltip comparison pop-up. And you can see with the scalping tomahawk of stamina there, we'll get minus 0.1 damage per second, but we'll get an extra one intellect, so that's very good. And in this one, the other one, the hammer there, the hammer, we get one extra intellect, 0.9 extra damage per second, but we lose one agility. Hmm. Item level 9, 11. I think we'll actually swap out the hammer, to be perfectly honest. So let's do that. Where is the hammer? Well, actually, let's make sure that we can. One-handed, and the hammer is one-handed as well. Yes, we can swap them out, no problem. All right, so we now have a dagger. Let's put our flame tongue imbue on that weapon, of course. We make must always make sure that we have both of them up. There we go, nice. Yeah. We've now got extra want? DPS on there. All right, so Kaja Cola gives you ideas. Yeah, that sounds familiar, doesn't it? There we go, Assistant Greeley is clearly bewildered and intimidated. How will she help you find a way to rescue everyone in this condition? Maybe if she were to drink one of those Kaja Colo Zero One drinks you saw, she'd be able to have a bright idea. So there you go, that is gonna be our quest. Collect one Kaja Colo Zero One. So let's accept that and excited. let's have a look on the map and see where we need to go. There we go, as always, of course, it's highlighted. We can see that entire area. That basically means there's Kaja Cola all around in the mines I'd say in semi random areas and they'll normally glow in fact there we go what's that what is that there's one Kajakolo 01 and of course you might remember those from way back in the beginning when we had to collect them back on the uh, island there in the goblin city in Kazan that's exactly the same well, thing there we are Kajakolo 01 Let's give this to her. Assistant Greeley spots the Kaja Cola zero one one in your hand and her eyes seem to come to life. Let's Go complete that quest. Camp. I've got an idea. There you go. You can see a light bulb above her head. Good stuff. Hey, come here, you. Good Lord, come here. I've Stop seen moving you about. There we go. Morale boost. We've got two quests there. You got to get all the Kajakolo Zero One that you can, and make the goblins drink it to boost their morale and free them. Use the Kajakolo Zero One to free Ace, Izzy, Gobba. It's our old mates and six goblin survivors or Kizan, Kazan rather citizens. All right, that's one quest. Be more than happy to do. Got to get our people out of here. Yoga. The key to get them to them is to drink plenty of Kajakolo Zero One. We can do that. Throw it on the ground. Oh, look at this. We've got ourselves a bit of a boss. 
this nightmare will never be over while Blast Shadow the Brute Master still breathes. There are a couple of problems though. One, being a warlock, he's got a succubus named Delisha Whipsnaps. If you kill Blast Shadow quickly, the demon will go back to where it was summoned from. The second problem, since Blast Shadow is a warlock, he has a soul stone that allows him to resurrect. You have to get his soul stone and destroy it so that he'll be dead forever. There we go, so our objectives in this case are to destroy Blast Shadow the Brute Master's soul stone. And you can see we get ourselves, what do we got there? Oh, that's good. Some braces, and they give us plus four armor and some tights there. What are they? Yeah, not as good as the leather ones that we have, but that's okay. A big bunch of XP, XP as well. Here we go. So what are we looking for? We're looking for the Kaja Cola again, and we're looking for the named guy's soul stone. Let's take this guy out for a start. Make sure our shield's up, of course. All right, so it's Kaja Cola hunting time for us. Oh, she's coming with us. All right, that's cool. We've got ourselves a, a little assistant. Definitely an assistant. Oh, look at that. He's interrupted us. You horrible, horrible ogre. Oh, gosh. Got stunned again. Poor old yogurt's yelling and writhing and screaming in pain there. Dear, oh dear, that sounded painful, didn't it? All right, so did we actually get any Kaja Cola then? Yes, we did. You can see it's actually a usable item. Use new and improved Kaja Cola Zero One. Half the calories, twice the ideas. Throw at Ace, Izzy, Gobber, Goblin Survivors, or Kezin Citizens to free their minds. The range is 20 yards. Let's actually put that on our hot bar there. And there we go, a citizen. Let's, let's use that. And there we go. <laughs> All right, nice and simple. Let's see if we can round some more of these up. Quickly, there we go. And quickly. you can see, seeing as I had it on my hotbar, it will stay there and give us a count of how many we have in our, <laughs> our inventory. Look at that. Earwax. It's got to be good for something. I don't think that's such a great idea. I don't know. It's just me. Not sure earwax is going to be everybody's cup of tea. Yes, anyway. Get something first. Shields up. All right, I do a very bad Star Trek impersonation, don't I? Now that was interesting. That mob actually had a Kaja Cola on him, so that means we can use that. There we go. Three out of six, and let's not let, let the shinies go past unnoticed. You can see we've got a copper vein here. Let's take that on, and hopefully we'll see our mining. There we go. Level up to 49. All right, so you know we need to get it to 50 in order to charge ourselves up into the next tier of mining, so it's not far away now. Good stuff. Now, hopefully this guy here will have some Kaja Cola. He has, and look at that, he's also got some green pants, some cloth pants there. Unfortunately, we are leather bound. In this case, we've got much better leather ones, but you know what that means? That means that that will eventually end up on an auction house somewhere in the world. And there's that other player, the priest over there as well. Very cool. Yeah. All right, so let's see if we can throw some more Kaja Cola. There we go, four out of six. Let's get our totems down. Oh, and he's aggroed on that already. Oh, wow. All right, there we go. Did we get more cola? No, we didn't that time. It's very interesting. Let's see if this one over here has any. And having to keep remembering, of course, to reapply our shields. It's bad news if you don't. The heck was that? Some kind of weird dragonfly. There's some Kaja Cola over there. Let's see if we can take out this ogre, this brute, is it? Brute Overseer. <laughs> Clearing our totems. There we go. And we'll put our shields up again in a second. There we go. We've now got two of these. Two Kaja Colas. There we go, just one more of those, and we are done. Then, of course, we've got to look for our actual mates. We've got Ace, Izzy, and Gobber. 
They're our homies. Homies from back go, go. in Kazan, of course. All right, Kazan citizen. Why is that? Ah, oh, why was that? It said it was an invalid. Invalid target. Oh, no, survive it. No, it doesn't want to let us throw them. I have no idea why, to be honest. Interrupt my mining, will you? Yes, that's the price you pay. Killed by death. All right, goblin survivor. Let's see if we can throw one at them. Yep, all right, no idea why it wouldn't do that before. Anyway. All right, here we got two. Two lots of Kaja Cola Zero One. Now, hopefully, of course. Whoa! All right, that is that is nasty. That is the Warlock. All right, so we know that we haven't got the Soul Stone, so they're going to come back to life. But we'll kill them anyway, just for a bit of a practice run. There we go, it's curtains for you, even though we know you will be back. Never mind. Alright, let's heal ourselves up a little bit and put up our shields. And let's have a look on the map now and see if we can find whereabouts we need to go. Oh, there he is, Gobber, straight ahead of us according to the map. Up here somewhere, and there he goes! Hello, Gobber! Look at that, our poor old mate. Let's see if we can hop in here and grab the Kaja Cola Zero One as well. Get an extra bit. Let's free our friend. There you go. G'day, mate. Oh, he's going to join us as well. And what do we got? Oh, look at that. He. I forgot about this. He's our portable bank. How could I forget? Totally forgot about that. Wow. All right, that is very cool. Let's actually pop some things in the bank for later. Let's free up because you can see our bags are getting full, very full here. Let's pop, pop these things that we're going to actually put up on the auction house later in our bank. Let's make use of him while he's here. And of course that means we don't have to worry about the bags getting filled up and we can always go and grab these, withdraw them out of the bank at any time in the future. So it's going to be no problem whatsoever. There we go. Especially all of our crafting stuff there, the ore and the stone, things like that. Oh, who's that? Who was that? Somebody putting a buff on? Oh, it was that. There we go. Let's say thanks to them. I owe you one. There you go. And we can actually heal them as well, I believe. Yep, let's do that. There we go. Saves them healing themselves. Now let's just check in our bag. There's nothing else we want to throw in the bank. Nah, that's all good. There we go, helping out a fellow player. <clears throat> Excuse me. Kazam. There you go. They said thanks, we said no problem. I don't now you think my mates would actually help us out with the combat, wouldn't you? Ah, well, never mind. All right, what do we got down in here? Boy, oh boy, okay, that looks like it's an exit of some sort. It is. We need a target. Let's actually hop out and have a look. What's the word on the street? Have a good one. Oh, look at this, lots of Kaja Cola. Now, we still need it, of course, because we need to find Ace and Izzy. So we'll take all of these. There we go. We can see we've got five now. Plenty in supply. Now, I wonder where we've come out. Let's have a look on our map. Some kind of overlook here. See if we can have a look around without aggroing anything. And it looks like it's some big... Wow, that's some kind of big tracks down there. And it looks like, yes, that is... I'd say the Trade Prince's headquarters down there definitely looks like it to me. I need to target 
with something first. Mm. Yeah, that looks like you can see it's at the tip of the island there, the northern tip. Let's go have a sneak peek. I'd say that's where our assault is going to actually end up being. Yeah, look at that. That looks like something that the Trade Prince Gallywicks would put together if you ask me. All right, so anyhow, we need to get back inside the mine. You can see we've got to find Ace and Izzy still, and we have to destroy Blast Shadow's Soul Stone as well. Although I note that we're running low on time here. Whoopsie. Maybe we'll have to do that in the next episode. Let's just quickly see if we can find at least one. You can see there we go. Blast Shadow's Soul Stone should be somewhere around here. Let's see if we can at least find that. Grab more cola, of course. Good stuff. Yeah, so according to the map, it's to our right. Should be in here somewhere. Yeah, maybe it's in there. Let's have a look. And got ourselves some more Kaja Cola. Alright, is there anything in here that resembles a soul stone? Doesn't look like it, and yet we're kind of right on top of it okay it's apparently over there somewhere just behind that wall let's grab the ore we want copper because of course copper equals money yikes there's the warlock once again oh look let's just take him out whoops wrong button <laughs> There we go. Now, where is this soul stone? Is it down in here somewhere? What do we got? No, we got more Kaja Cola there. And more cola there. There's something else glowing. No, there's still colas as well. Well, okay, I must admit I'm completely bamboozled and lost because according to our mini-map, we should be pretty much right on top of it. So I'm guessing that it's either beneath us or above us. I honestly don't know. Might have to look that up. All right, so we won't waste any more time trying to find that there. But what else do we have? Ace and Izzy. And they are over in that direction somewhere. So I'm guessing they're around the corner somewhere. Ugh, gosh, this is very rough. Maybe they're up the top. We'll just have a quick run around before we finish off up this episode. And, of course, we'll actually finish it off in the next one. There's still plenty to do. Maybe they're over in this area. Have we already been over here? Honestly, don't know. Let's have a look. And I've lost our little icon on the mini-map. There we go. All right, so it should be right around here somewhere. Who are we looking for? Kazan Citizen. We've got a Goblin Survivor. Oh, come on. Where are you? Ah, look. There is Ace over there. G'day, Ace. Let's see if we can at least free him before the episode finishes. I need a target. There we go. G'day, mate. Woo! There we go. Ace's mind has been freed. Good stuff. Now, maybe... Maybe we will be able to find this soul stone. Oh, no. I honestly don't know. Is it through there somewhere? It could be. Because this seems to be underneath where we were before. No, it's apparently right here. Well, oh, I I honestly don't see it. Where on earth it could it be? Huh. Alright, well, maybe it is above us. Maybe it's below us. I'm pretty sure we were already through there, weren't we? Pretty sure we were down there before. Yeah, we were. So now I'm guessing the only other choice is that it's up top. Yes, hello. No, there's no up top here. All right, we are going to have to scratch our heads and try and figure that one out for the next episode as we run out of time in this one. There we go. Nice. Nice way to finish off will be to kill a couple of these nasties. Got a bit close. Our health got dangerously low then. That's all right. Quick heal. Fix that up. Quick smart. All right. Yep. I honestly have no idea where this soul stone is because, like I say, 
according to the map it should be we should be looking at it it should be just over there and I don't see it no what's that that's Kaja Cola yep no I honestly yeah well I'm gonna have to actually look that up I think that's unusual I honestly don't remember from when I did play a goblin last time I do remember getting a bit lost down here maybe maybe it was that I was trying to find the soul stone then as well who knows all right let's grab this ore and then wrap things up for this episode here with good old yoga it's great fun playing with her and of course in the next let's play world of warcraft let's play rather we'll be on seraphis as we carry on with our level 40 worgen mage and then we'll alt back here to yoga and see if we can find this blimmin soul stone anyhow folks certainly hope you enjoyed that episode certainly hope you join us in the next one on behalf of myself sambo and the wonderful tenacious yogurt our level 12 now goblin shammy it's us saying take care certainly hope you're having a great day wherever in the world you are we do look forward to seeing you next time. We will see you then, and bye-bye.